Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Colosseum. Moving the mic over a little bit. Okay. In the last episode, we did Area 9. Now we're going to try and challenge Area 10. The final area. So we're going to keep going until either we win or we die. And that's it. 91. Well, 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 you've finally marched your way up to Area 10. I, Tando, shall meet your challenge. Don't know how high the enemies go. Probably 70, if I had to guess. Golem and Velikan. Starting out with the strong boys. Okay. You probably all know Earthquake. As well. Luckily, I've got Meteor Mash now, so I might be able to do more damage. And Ragnarok is level 56 now, so he should be a little bit stronger. Oh yeah, that's better. Blast shouldn't be too bad. Oh yeah, it will hurt Bone Sword quite a lot. It's really annoying when everything does so much damage to him. But it's okay, Bone Saw. They're using really stupid moves, so I don't blame you. Let's do it. I'm hoping that Meteor Mash kills Velikant too. Though I might be wrong. Cacturn. Okay, so now I've got to use something else. Well, okay, so I may have misplayed a little bit. But my attacks keep going up and up and up, so it's all good. Well, Bone Sword's dead. And it doesn't do that much damage to Ragnarok, so I don't know what you're trying to do. Oh, you're trying to confuse me. Of course you are. Son of a bitch. I'm going to try this. I'm going to do quite a lot of time pressure today again. Every day I will be. So it's Wednesday and Friday. Because I don't stream those days. Yes, Hyper Beam. Good. <laughs> Such a fucking good move. I mean, you have to take a turn off after you use it. But I'm confused anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'd expect nothing less from a move that good. Well, that went actually okay. A worthy trainer you are! Only lost one Pokemon. That was pretty good. There were just nine zones to go, don't falter. Yeah, but the last zone's actually like a Colosseum battle. Poor, poor young one, it's good to see you've climbed this far, but your climb stops here. But an old lady, Pan, would like to battle. Go bat and swallot! That's a lot of things to worry about. <laughs> Okay. I'm liking Meteor Mash a lot. 
I'm really enjoying it. it seems fairly strong. Okay, so you're going to try and make Ragnarok flinch, is what you're doing. Right. It's not, it's not bad. He did flinch. Okay. Sludge Bomb is, works quite well against uh, Bone Saw. But that's not the worst attack I've ever seen. He did poison me, though. I'm just concerned that, uh, essentially, Houndoom will never make it through another fight again. And will therefore never level up again. This seems to be the case so far. But all I need is a type of matchup where I actually do damage against them. Even when it's not very effective, it still does a lot of damage. I mean, Drawback doesn't have that much health, but still. Oh, you poisoned me as well. For fuck's sake. Stop poisoning Matt. just have to kill you then. Before I get poisoned to death. Yeah, the poison's probably going to kill me. Which is really bad. Luckily, I have still got Psychic on Vagnavok, so he should be able to just Psychic him to death, but it's kind of frustrating. I think that's the first time I've ever seen Tentacruel. Can't really bring out Angelo because they're also super effective against it. Can bring out Tio though. Defense for days. Right now I'm losing. In terms of like this battle, I'm not winning. Two of them will do it. Mm. But now I've got a 10 level deficit, so this doesn't surprise me too much that I really am doing very little damage at all. Hydro pump, that's gonna hurt. At least much dead. Which is really nice. Go on, paralyze him. Damn it. Well, I guess we'll try this then. I didn't know how much damage it actually did. Right, Angelo. I need you to do the business here. Secret Power is actually whittling away his HP quite nicely. And I confused it. But I was going to say, of course it probably knows Sludge Bomb as well, which is really good against Angelo. What? Hello? And when I use Confuse, it never fucking works. Just to add insult to injury. 
I think Tio is going to save the day here. With his constant pressuring of uh, using ancient or secret power. I don't know what it keeps missing. No idea. Finally. They used evade, evade increase one time. There's no reason for it to be missing. Good. The game's giving me a break. Go, Tio. Yes. <laughs> we keep you around for these reasons, Tio. In the clutch, you always come through. Your excellence shines. Just eight zones left. Don't lose your focus. You're going to knock me out? That's impossible. Which boy Quint would like to battle? Gunpig and Kadabra. Okay. What do I know about psychic Pokemon? Dark is very effective against them. Magic coat. Okay. Ah, oh, no, don't do that. Okay, you need to die. Yeah, see ya. Okay, now we're in the lead. Quantifiably in the lead. Oh, yeah. Okay, Lunatone. Let's see what you got. When Bone Saw's good, he's good. Look at this shit. I'm loving this. This is real good. Do I win? Knocked down and out. Oh. Hmm, I thought I was tougher than you. Apparently not, kiddo. Sorry to burst your bubble. Oh, I think it's stupendous you've come so far, but that doesn't mean I'll ease up on you. I wouldn't expect anything less. Lady Coley would like to battle. Cast performance and flora. Okay, this actually works really well. But I think it changes based on the moves it does, not on the moves I do. In that case, we'll use metal on it first, and if it changes, then I'll use fire on it. But if it does moves on it does, then I don't know what to do. It'll probably change itself into water. Vile plume. Uh oh. It's going to turn itself into fire. Okay. I didn't know what it would do, but it turned itself into fire. Okay, so now I've got to use Psychic, probably. It's the best thing I've got.
As long as you don't kill me in one hit, I don't really care. And you didn't poison me either. Haha. <laughs> I was really hoping that I would kill him in one hit, otherwise I'd die. But I did it, so. See ya. Bell awesome. Yeah, it's gonna hurt because it's fire now. So, I'm going to do the best I can with what I've got. And uh, that means that I'm probably not going to make it. Especially if it uses Solar Beam also on Ragnarok. <laughs> Sorry, man. Not favourable matchup. Bring out the level 59 squad. There we go. Bye bye. I mean, it hurts, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, considering that's boosted. XP per kill. That'll level up bone so real quick. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That was the most wonderful battle I've ever made but six zones. I wish you the best of luck. 95. You know, halfway through every attempt, getting complacent now can ruin you. Oh, I'm not getting complacent, don't worry. Athlete Chrism. Not Crimson. Chrism. Mantine is oh. Seeker. Okay. We just have to. We're just gonna have to hit them with everything we've got. I'm afraid to say. I haven't really got a better excuse than that. Bonesaw so got his attack off, so even if he dies, he's doing something. Oh yeah, hyper beam. <gasps> it survived. My faint attack wasn't enough. Thought for sure it would have been enough. And of course, yeah, why wouldn't it do it on me? Yeah, on bone saw. Stop the map to go. Just want to kill the Mantine, really. And I don't have to waste one of my good moves to do that, so. Untail. Okay, now then. We're going for the second attack, where we do one on each. I didn't think it would kill them, but at least it does good damage. So next time it probably will. It's not very effective. If you hit me with a hydro pump, I might die. Oh, okay. You made water even stronger. Fine. I can see why you'd do that. 
there's actually no reason for you not to do it. Does it improve the speed of uh, those kind of Pokemon? I don't know. Or maybe it was just getting its attack out before it died. Gorbis. Yeah, it must improve the speed because now both of them are attacking first. Which is kind of scary. Angelo. All these water Pokemon are just ripe for the killing. Unless they all happen to also know Sludge Bomb. Which they might. The other way around. Let's drain that one because he'll definitely die from it. Bye. I'd use Hydro Pump on. Yeah, Matt, because he's not resistant to it. Get drained, kiddo. I'd use Giga Drain, but it's even less accurate, and I'd probably miss. Oh, yeah. Level 60. Oh, well done. You're not bad at all. We had a good battle. Thanks. Next zone. Woohoo, you came all the way here. Excellent, excellent. I'm getting fired up. Athlete Raus would like to battle. Electrode and Mistress. Okay. I know just what to do. Uh... I think you can meet your mash on this guy and then we'll use faint attack on mischievous unless it just explodes us all. Okay. Vagnarok tanking it like a champion. Bonesaw unfortunately not tanking it like a champion. And it probably won't do anything to mischievous at all, yes. Bag not getting the sweet XP though. In that case, we'll have to change our tactic a little bit. Sunny day. Hmm. I guess for the nine tails, right? Unfortunately, I don't care. You're dead. Sorry, nine tails. I do like you a lot. Come up. Oh, hello? What was that supposed to do? I have no idea what the intent was. See you, buddy. Oh, okay, you wanted to hit me. Or Vagnarok, because it's in effective against him. Right. Better than nothing. Dot JPEG. Considering Matt actually can't do anything. Oh no, it does work. It's just not very effective. Oh no, it does work. It's just a normal move. Okay, what was I thinking then? I thought that for some reason ghosts didn't get affected by Psychic.
burnt out. I guess it's just that Psychic isn't strongest against it. I think you can go all the way to the end. I'd like to think so. My Pokemon are pretty good. Again, the top three, or the first three I always choose are the better ones, but I can always get the other three back to 60. You're awfully unlucky, I mean, you just had to run into me with only four zones to go. Oh, you're one of those guys, are you? Cool trainer Trilo would like to battle. Let's see what you got, kiddo. For alligator and Typhlosion. Okay. The two kinds of Pokemon I didn't pick. Both good against fire, though, unfortunately. So that flamethrower is going to hurt Magnemok quite a lot. Oh, I didn't kill him, though. He's in this. I'm hoping hi Oh, God. Maybe you'll kill Bonesaw, hopefully. didn't even kill me. Okay. I was going to say, I hope this Hyper Beam kills for Alligator. It didn't. Okay, well then I'm going to have to deal with it. Maybe it is unlucky I got U4 from the end, but you're using a good combination of Pokemon to begin with that happen to be effective against my two immediately. Now kill for alligator. Boop. There you go. Magenium, which is Chikorita's ex uh, next one. I can actually do something against him, provided I don't die instantly, which is quite possible. Crush Claw. In fact, not only possible, but it actually happened. Okay. Well then. Tio. Get out here. We can always count on you in the clutch, especially if it's gonna be physically attacking me. Just tank it like a fucking champion. Right. Take it all day, I know you can. Level 52. Trying to learn Moonlight. This is a good move, yes? The store's HP, the amount varies with the weather. Hmm. I mean, do I need bite and faint attack? I can make them flinch, but this one never misses. I think having an ability to heal myself on a tank is actually quite good. Now Tio's going to shout at me. Oh well. Reloom. Well if only I still have my shit together. No, it's only going to heal itself back to full anyway. Fuck. So I'm thinking two psychics at least to kill all these guys. Which is fine, I can do that. Sky uppercut. Well, I didn't know it had a move that was super effective against dark. So... Oops. Don't even remember what is super effective against Dark. I'm trying to think. No idea. It doesn't matter. It's happened now. A 
Genium. You did. Solid. Ampharos. Okay. Spore, what's that gonna do? Put me to sleep. Yep. It looked like the same graphic, so. Could explode. I don't think it'll kill them, though. So I'm gonna bide my time. Headbutt. Thunderbolt. Ow. So much for that plan. Okay, well I guess if you gotta fight fire with fire. Or fight sleep with sleep. Except for some reason I believe my sleep's not gonna be as good as theirs. Oh, safeguard means I can't do it. Okay. Then I've probably lost. Unfortunately. Not a lot I can do about it. Because I'm just not waking up. Wait, I have revives and things. Just because I've only got one Pokemon left doesn't mean I have to not use them. I've got an idea. Oh, now it runs out. Fuck. Okay, fine. Let's revive our guys. Let's bring them back to life. Why not? The legend comes back to life. And he crit me. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I'm just hoping this doesn't work very well against metal. Uh-oh. Maybe I chose poorly. It's fine. You can't win them all. It's unbelievable how unlucky you are. No, no, no. I'm not unlucky. You just beat me on this one occasion. Damn it. Fine. I'll have to go back again and do it again. Which means we get another video of this, because I thought I'd be done. But like I said, I'd either go till I die or till I win. So how do I go about beating those guys next time? I think just level beating them. Just f f farming levels until I beat them out of sheer force of will. Is probably the best I can do. Because my team has kind of a bad... For water, weak, weak. Not strong, not strong. Fire, weak, weak, uh, weak, not strong necessarily. So there's a lot of fire and water weaknesses. So when I get put up against people who use fire and water immediately, that's pretty bad. But that's okay. All we have to do is out-level them. But I'll see you guys next time when we finally do this. We're going to do it on th tomorrow, on Wednesday, when I have infinite time because I don't have to stream. I'm just going to keep going until I win. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you guys then. Bye.